The Right to Information Bill, which had made it mandatory for government and public institutions to provide information on requests, has come into force. Portia Gabo assesses the processes under the new law. Abdul Razak Munkaila is a producer of the 3FM morning show Sunrise. He relies on research and information regularly to update listeners of the morning show. With the implementation of the Rights to Information Law on January 2, he's hopeful of accessing vital information to make his work easier. Implementation of the Rights to Information Law, according to the Ministry of Information, is in full force. We currently here at the Ministry to assess the process. He is at the Information Ministry to request some information. Uh, I need to request for information on the RTI law. Oh, um, please, do you know what to do? No, How please. To no. Have a phone here. Okay. Okay. In about 10 minutes, Moon Kaila had completed the process. The information that were, were, were requested on, the, on both forms that I feel were quite simple and very easy to go through. Uh, just uh, that the issue of the tin was where um, I do not have a tin myself yet, uh, which I intend to go get. So that was where I had a bit of difficulty. But in all, I think they are very simple information and very, very straightforward. Uh, I requested for how much it's going to cost Calvin to embark on the sensitization program of the implementation of the RTI. I also asked for 2019, the number of uh, vehicles that government or the presidency actually spent money on. I also asked them, um, I mean, the Gitmo too, you know, it's been a big issue, <laughs> one we're aware about. And secondly, I wanted to find out how much money are we really spending money in taking care of um, our very good friends. One unique feature of the process is that an applicant can choose to inspect and verify the information required, as well as demand to have the document printed, even in Braille for the visually impaired. Munkaila now proceeds to the records unit at the ministry to present his request. He has then given a chit for safekeeping. Well, I've been asked to come in 14 days, which is approximately uh, two weeks, and uh, I should come for uh, any further details that they will be put uh, chilling out. I've been told that it's either they contact me within the, within the space, it's either they give me a call or send me an email so that uh, I'll be aware of uh, whether or not the information will be granted or denied. So that's what I'm waiting for now. Salasi Abu Dispenser is a technical assistant and head of the delivery unit at the Office of the Minister of Information. It's as simple as that. You pick up an application, fill it, submit it back to the public institution, it will be received. They'll be given a chit that will tell you when to come back for a decision on the application, whether it will be granted or whether it will be denied. And if it will be granted, uh, the form and manner in which the information will be given to you, and then the prescribed fee for the form and manner in which the information will be given. And it's as simple as that. Just the ministries at the moment. Uh, we expect that um, all institutions uh, should, uh, should be finishing up their transitional um, procedures as we speak to be able to receive uh, requests. But it doesn't stop anybody from walking up to an institution to request for information. You can't walk up to an institution and request for information. It doesn't matter which institution at all. Although the implementation of the RTI law took effect on January 2, 2020, there are still some concerns the RTI coalition once addressed. One of the areas that we have an eye for is how all of these processes that have been set in place now favors persons with disability and persons who are illiterate because the law also makes provisions for them. And so those are the things that we'll be looking forward to in the coming days. For example, government in October this year was expected to constitute an RTI board, a move which is yet to materialize. But the information ministry says this will not be a hindrance to citizens accessing information from government and public institutions. I think that it's important for the ministry to know that people may need the RTI commission in probably the next one week or two. And so provided that the ministry is putting in place measures to ensure that the commission and the board and everything is set up in the next one week or two, we are fine with that. If it goes beyond that and if now people have to apply to the to the to the commission and they do not have a commission station to be applied to that is where we will be raising concerns and that is where it will be it will be illegal 
you know, considering what the Act actually says. The Ministry of Finance has also not made available the 20 million CD budgetary allocation for the effective implementation of the RTI law. So sensitization has begun. Uh, we began that on the 1st of January. It's still ongoing. Uh, in fact, we have been preparing to scale it up across the entire country. So right now, uh, we have put out some feelers on social media. Uh, some of them will be rolling on TV soon. And so we expect that uh, in a couple of days, the entire country should be brought up to speed on exactly how to apply for information. In order for the law to be effective, there is the need to address challenges with public record-keeping system in Ghana, encourage citizens, not only journalists, to access information, as well as speedily make forms available online and make the RTI law disability-friendly.